Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I do a smooth hyperlapse from footage that I shot using DJI Osmo Action and I'm going to be concentrating on post-production in After Effects where I'm going to be stabilize the footage not by using the normal warp stabilizer but I'm going to be using stabilized motion in After Effects. So let's get started. So here's one of the shots that I want to stabilize and using time remapping to speed up the video. This is the famous West Street in Yangshuo, in Guilin Province in China. This footage was shot with DJI Osmo Action, with the rock steady on, and I was on normal color profile. I tried to walk as steady as possible here, taking small steps, but it was very difficult since there were so many people here. My target is this shop sign, so while walking, I did my best to make sure that this shop sign is always at the center. Now we'll see what happened when I speed up the video just by scrubbing the timeline. And let's do that again by playing 10 times faster. As you can see here, the shot isn't smooth at all. So let's try to fix this in After Effects. So now I'm going to start by importing the video into After Effects. And I'm going to drag the video into the new composition button here to create a new composition for this video. And as I said earlier, I'm going to stabilize this footage not by a warp stabilizer, but by using the stabilize motion. We need the target to use the stabilize motion, so I'm going to use this shop sign as the target. And just in case, for any of you guys who don't know, if you don't see the tracker window here, let me close this one first. You can find it by going to the window and click on the tracker here, and then you will see it here. So now, while the video is selected, I'm going to click on the Stabilize Motion button here and I'm going to zoom on this video, bring the track point towards the sign and I'm going to resize the track point window so it matches the shop sign here. I'm going to zoom out again and I'm going to press the Analyze forward. It will take some time for After Effects to analyze the whole length of the video so I'm going to fast forward it towards the end. So now After Effects has done analyzing the footage, I can then proceed by clicking on apply. The dimension is just X and Y for this example, so I'm going to press OK. Now you can see on your timeline that After Effects automatically creates keyframes on each frames for a few attributes here. And if I scrub through the timeline, notice that the footage is moving through X and Y dimension in order to stabilize this footage and to keep this shop sign fixed at its position. We don't want this black bar on our video, so what I'm going to do to fix this is to reposition and resize the video bigger so it will cover the black bar. I'll try my best to reposition the video at the center of the composition and this requires some time and at the same time I will resize the video bigger until the video covers the whole composition, leaving the black bar to none. You have to keep on scrubbing back and forth through the timeline to make sure you don't have the black bar at all at the composition. Once I'm done with it, I will speed up this video by right clicking here, time and time stretch. The duration now is 40 seconds and I'm going to change the duration into 4 seconds. Now I'm going to zoom at the timeline here, go to the last frame and press N to end the composition here. So now we are ready, I'm going to load this into the RAM and let's do the preview. So now I want to show the before and after. Let's take the original footage and I'll play it on QuickTime Player at 10 times faster. As you can see that it's not smooth at all. And now let's see the same footage that we already stabilized using stabilized motion. Now we can see a huge difference. It's not perfectly smooth, but it certainly looks really good here. I think I will make it slightly faster. I'm going to change the duration of the video from 4 down to 3 seconds now and let's see what happened. Okay, I think this is perfect. So that's about it. It's actually very simple and easy. I hope you guys learned a thing or two from watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave it down at the comment below. I hope to see you again the next time and peace be upon you.